Today we're tackling a topic that's really got tensions rising in the world of golf. We're talking universal golf ball rollback. This decision could change the face of golf as we know it. The RNA and USGA are on the verge of a groundbreaking decision that could render nearly every golf ball in play non-conforming. For years they've been hinting at this change and now it seems they're ready to make it official. For those unfamiliar with the concept of golf ball rollback, it refers to reducing the maximum distance that golf balls can travel. Over the years, golf balls have been designed to fly further and more accurately, leading to longer drives from players. So, by rolling back the distance, the governing bodies claim they'll preserve the essence of the sport, balancing skill and strategy, rather than focusing primarily on power and distance. This change marks a significant shift in the game, attempting to respect its historical roots while adapting to the modern game. Top hitters like Rory McIlroy, although supportive of the change, will see a considerable impact from this change. Under the new rules, golf balls hit at a controlled swing speed of 125 miles an hour must not exceed 317 yards. This represents a rollback to late 1990s distances, reducing driving distances by about 5%. But why are they making the change? Golf courses have been extending their lengths to keep up with distance gains by top golfers for years, but many can't afford to keep doing it, and a lot actually don't have the space to keep extending. The iconic par 5 13 at Augusta National, for example, was lengthened significantly to maintain its challenge. So what does this rollback mean for you as a golfer? Well, initially the idea was to have pros and amateurs using different balls. This was called bifurcation. But with this off the table, everyone's going to be playing a shorter ball, which could mean a driving distance reduction of 5% across the board. So if you're like me, and you're not the longest hitter in the world, you might want to start getting into the gym and working out like Bryson, because the new rules will apply to all golfers from 2030. There's going to be a transitional period starting in 2028, when only professionals will be able to use the shorter ball. But two years later, we all will. So what about the PGA Tour? What's their response been? Well, they're not on board. Commissioner Jay Monaghan has clearly stated they won't support the proposed modifications, believing they're not in the best interest of the game. Opinions among tour pros are divided. McElroy supports the rollback, emphasizing sustainability and skill, but there's significant opposition too. Justin Thomas has openly criticized the USGA's decision. Webb Simpson has called for more emphasis on golf course design. And Bryce de Shambo blindly calls the rollback atrocious, suggesting making courses more difficult instead is a better option. The RNA and USGA stand firm on their decision. They believe they're focusing on the sport's long-term health and sustainability. But what about the golf ball manufacturers? What do they think? Their relief bifurcation is off the table as creating two classes of golf balls would have been a nightmare. Now they can focus on re-engineering balls to meet the new standards by 2028. There is a debate out there that pros have always been given better performance golf balls than the average golfer, so maybe this will level the field a little bit. Titleist actually came out to say the only ball in their current lineup that would conform to the new rules is the pinnacle soft golf ball. Maybe we should all try that out and see how we get on. But what about you? Would you change to the new golf balls or continue playing the longer ball? I imagine your local club will have to enforce these rules on short balls in competitions, but you do wonder. How are they going to check? Will they want to check your golf balls on the first tee for a competition? Also, will Titleist reduce the price of their golf balls if they're effectively the same as their current budget balls? This is going to be really interesting. Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one.